In this video, we are going to discuss about history of communication. In the previous video, we discussed how speech was the first mode of communication that was developed by humans. From speech, they came down to symbols, then they developed alphabets and finally telecommunication where they could communicate with people located far away. Symbols were developed some 40,000 years ago. These symbols were initially used to draw cave paintings. The first cave painting was discovered around 30,000 BC. This cave painting as you see here or this cave painting here, you can see that here the whole life processes like hunting or cooking or praying were being depicted by humans using the cave paintings. What you see here are symbols. They were the precursor to alphabets. These symbols were developed by humans some 6000 years ago. As you can see here, there are separate symbols for each activity of their life, praying, sitting, cooking, hunting or talking with each other. The communication language, the alphabets that we know today took another 1000 more years to develop because we speak in form of single phonetics. What is single phonetics? If I speak a, uh, that is one sound a, uh, then there is an alphabet a associated with it. If I say speak p, then there is a single alphabet associated with it, which is p. So it took some time to develop that. The English language as we know today, we use for communication, for writing, speaking, talking, everything was developed in Western Germany around 5th to 7th centuries AD. Now you will notice that whatever modes of communication that we are discussing here is used to communicate with people who are around us, who are near us, who can see the symbols that we are drawing, who can see the signs that we are making with our hands or mouth or uh, with our body. But soon humans realized that they needed a mode of communication so that they could communicate with people who are located far away. That is called telecommunication. We have an international telecommunication union which defines telecommunication as transmission, emission or reception of any signal or messages by means of electromagnetic systems. So that is the formal definition of telecommunication. So how did telecommunication start? The first mode of telecommunication was smoke signals. So I am standing here and another person is standing say 5 miles away. So I will use a smoke signal, I will pick up the smoke like this and the other person can see and say understand this, yes I am saying yes or same way drums, I am playing drums so it means something or fire torches similarly. But the point to be noted here is that these means of communication could be used only to communicate ideas that were predetermined. So if I raise my torch like this, it means yes, if I do a big circle with my torch then it means no. Now that limits the communication that we are doing, the exchange of information. So soon a need was realized that we have to have a mode of communication where I can communicate anything that I want to the other person who is located away from us. So how was the first communication system developed? Through the use of telephone. In 1878 the first telephone was developed. The mobile phone that we are used to, we just pick up, dial a number and communicate with our friend who is maybe located thousands of miles away. But it started with the first telephone. Using telephone, I could communicate using my speech. Then next in the development phase came television. Using television, I was also transmitting images, pictures, sound and pictures. Then next came video phones, satellites. These were all newer means, faster means, more secure means of communicating. And finally, we came to computer networks. What are computer networks? Networks which are connected through wires or wirelessly, we connect the computer to form a network all over the world. So you can see in this video, we have discussed that after speech, how symbols or signs were used and then telecommunication modes like fire, symbols or drums, then finally telephone, television and finally computer networks have been used to communicate. Communication system was revolutionized with the introduction of computer networks. So in our next video, we are going to discuss about computer networking and its history.